travelled to Kern County. Uh, he could have just done that with the powers of his mind mm -hmm. by distance as he used to do on television. Yes, sir? Uh, well, I like the fact you put the entertainer in quotes because that, you know, we can have to prove it if he's actually okay. <laughs> <laughs>
a plot reading would have to be uh, in, once again, I keep uh, referring to, to James Randi, uh, his debunking of Peter Popple, the faith healer and the talking of angels, so you know, I'm sure you're familiar with this case, uh, on the, the Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. Uh, and so he claims that he's got a line to God, but that line to God actually seems to be aligned to his wife, who uh, was feeding him information when he was doing his readings, uh, truth and new piece uh, about Basically, they were collecting this information from people as they were uh, filing into the show. Heart reading is actually the very common technique among the faith healers in the Bible. It's the big tent revivals where they have people stationed outside that watch people coming into the tent and the community conditions of the, the, the person that's doing the healing and the Lord speak to their neighbors. Right. I'm sure it's more prevalent nowadays. I mean, if I was a psychic and set up shop somewhere and uh, I had people walk appointments with me that I could easily do some digging online. So you right. can easily find out information about them, uh, you know, poke around, med detective or something like that. You can really easily get lots of information and uh, to, to route them to things that you supposedly know about them. Yes, sir? I want to say there's, there's another sort of aspect of this where there's this feeling that modern physics give, gives you a, a reason to believe that people can communicate at a distance because of the, uh, the idea they call entanglement, where particles seem to be somehow correlated over these long distances, and people account for this by saying that there's some sort of instantaneous communication between the two particles that have been separated, that started out as a pair, and this, this idea of entanglement has gotten very firmly established in the physics community, the, the legitimate physics community. And people like Dean Radin, who's one of the, you know, basically the opinion leaders in the psychic community, has exploited this to talk about this is really a good reason for you to feel that it's perfectly, you know, possible and perfectly normal to believe in paranormal stuff, or at least ESP, because uh, the physicists have proved that particles are connected over, you know, these distances and have instantaneous <coughs> back and forth communication, and therefore it's perfectly normal. Well, an, an interesting, and, and there was a guy named John Bell who, in 1964, uh, wrote down an equation called Bell's theorem, and he said if you go out and and observe these paired particles and you count up certain coincidences you can get a, a firm idea whether or not the, the particles are in, in, in their in, very inner heart are random or not. And if they are totally random but they remain correlated, then there must be some sort of communication. And people went out and they, they followed his equation and collected statistics. And what do you know? It turns out that according to Bell's idea and these experiments, these particles that remain correlated were in fact random at their very heart, and therefore the conclusion was that they are communicating. When you test one, you therefore, it communicates somehow with the other one, and that's how they maintain their correlation. Well, I would like to announce the, the wonderful, wonderful news that within the last year, a physicist by the name, a strange name of Joy Christian, and I'm not I'm not kidding. A physicist by the name of Joy Christian figured out the mistake in Bell's theorem. And that has relieved me. I can go to my grave now. Einstein called this spooky action at a distance, if you ever remember that quote. Or the, he also said he did not believe that God played dice with the universe. And that was, again, this idea that quantum particles were random at their very heart. Einstein did not believe that. He did not believe that quantum mechanics was finished until it could describe this correlation. And this guy, this, this doctor, physicist, the physicist, theoretical physicist, Joy Christian, in the last year, published this paper that identified the mistake in John Bell's equation, which essentially takes away this sort of proof that part of the damage already